So the question is whether KNO3 is acetic, basic, or neutral when we put it in water. So we have our potassium nitrate here, and we want to know really what the pH is when it's in water. To figure that out, we first need to know how this KNO3 was made, what the reaction is that resulted with the KNO3. So we want to look at the neutralization reaction. If we have potassium hydroxide and nitric acid, we mix those together, there'll be a neutralization reaction that'll make that KNO3 and water. So we have our equation. Now we need to determine the strength of the acid in the base that neutralized to form the KNO3. It's helpful if you've memorized this table here to do that. So if we look down, the KOH, that's OH, that means it's a base, so a strong base. Yep, that's a strong base. HNO3, the H tells us an acid. We go down here, and here's nitric acid, so that's a strong acid. So we know the strength of the acid in the base now. So we can use these rules here to figure out what the pH will be when we put the KNO3 in water. So we have a strong base and a strong acid. Strong base, strong acid. The pH is going to be neutral. The pH is going to be 7. So if you have KNO3, you put it in water, it dissolves, you end up with a neutral solution. This is Dr. B answering the question whether KNO3 is an acid base or neutral when you put it in water. Thanks for watching.